Local firefighters are on a mission tonight to help in the earthquake recovery effort in Nepal, and they're doing it with help from the late Paul Walker's foundation. Eyewitness News reporter Leanne Suter is live at LAX, where the firefighters are ready to go. Leanne. That's right, Mark. That medical team set to take off for Nepal in less than an hour. While they will be treating the injured, the search continues for those trapped in the rubble. This dramatic scene today as a 27-year-old man was pulled out alive nearly four days after the deadly quake. He drank his own urine to survive. The death toll, though, surging. Now over 5,000 rescuers just desperate to help. and ready to go. Cody Walker prepares for an emotional journey to Nepal. His first mission heading up the disaster relief organization Reach Out Worldwide or RO, founded by his late brother after Paul Walker. It's bittersweet. I am very happy for what he did leave behind for for us to continue. These are all people that really cared about Paul too. It's not just me. A paramedic in Oregon, Cody's life took a devastating and dramatic turn when his brother was killed in a car crash. The 26-year-old stepped in for Paul to help finish Fast and Furious 7, which he was filming when he died, and he is now keeping his brother's memory alive, continuing the charitable work he loved. It's easier to jump on with an organization that that you like than you want to support as a celebrity. But it was more important to him to really be in the trenches and get dirty. Hey, passports out, passports out. The nine member mobile disaster medical team, consisting of a doctor and several local firefighter paramedics, including one from Orange County Fire Authority and three from Pasadena Fire Department, will be sent to the hardest hit areas. Uh, typical patient counts for our team that we've seen in the past can range anywhere from 150 to 200 people in a day. Uh, the nice thing about a team our, about our size is that we're extremely mobile and we're extremely flexible. Um, we typically operate in areas that have not seen care, and that's where our focus lies. Everyone on the team are ready to jump into action. Keenly aware, the man who gave Roe its heart will be right there with them. This is exactly what he'd be doing right now. Roe would be doing the, this exact same thing. The only difference is that I'm here and he's not. And uh, yeah, I know he's looking over over us, and he'll he's there. He'll be there with us. And the row team is set to spend a week in Nepal. There is also an urban search and rescue team from L.A. County Fire Department that has just landed in Nepal as more resources head to that country to help. Live at LAX, Lee Suter, ABC 7 Eyewitness News.